Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a set of four beautiful Easter cards using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. You're going to need some white card stock. You'll actually need three pieces to make four cards. You're going to need some washi tape and some baker's twine, as well as ink and stamps. I'll have a free template on my blog for you to be able to cut out the beautiful window cards that we use today, either by printing it on your printer and cutting them out by hand, or using using a digital die cutter. So make sure you go to my blog, the link will be below so you can download those templates. You can see here how I've cut out my four templates. It's all arranged so it's on one eight and a half inch by 11 piece of cardstock so there's no waste. So I'm gonna take the bunny template and I'm gonna use an embossing folder to give it a little bit of texture but you can use it plain if you prefer. And just crank it right through the machine for a beautiful, subtle texture on your card window. I think embossing folders are a great tool to invest in because once you pay for them, you can use them over and over again without it costing you anything and it adds such a nice dimension to your projects. I'm going to add a little bit of color to my uh, window panel here. I'm using a stippling brush. This is a Judy Kins brand stippling brush, but you could use any sort of stiff brush or sponge if you like. And I'm using the same color I used to stamp the sentiment on my card. And I'm using the brush just to put a little bit of rouging around the edge of my window front. There we have a lovely subtle look that really brings out the texture from our embossing folder. Sometimes it's hard to see when you have a white on white card like that. So now what I'm going to do is add some foam dimensional tape to the back. I get it in little squares, but you can get it on a roll of tape as well. And I'm just putting them in each of the corners and anywhere that I feel like I have a little bit too much room that may, the card may get crushed if I don't put any extra because it does kind of support the, um, the window up off of the card. So I want to make sure there's not going to be any weak spots. So now I'm going to... Um, center my card front window on the front of my card base and I haven't folded it in half yet you can see it's half of a piece of cardstock but it's cut the uh, non-traditional way and I'm using a yellow colored pencil to trace around my window and the reason I'm using yellow rather than a regular pencil is because it won't show through my washi tape very easily so you could probably hardly see that there but um, but I can see the bunny well enough to stick my washi tape down I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can have a uh, better view here I I think you might, if you squint, you might just be able to make out that bunny there. Um, I am just choosing a few spring colors of Paper Mart washi tape. It's about $1.36 a roll, I think, for um, 30 feet rolls. It's a great bargain and comes in wonderful colors. And I'm simply sticking the tape down over where I have traced my bunny. So just use um, colors and patterns that go good together and it will just look fabulous as long as you make sure you cover over the entire area that you traced. Once you have the final piece of tape in place, you can uh, fold your card base in half. So I've pre-scored this because I'm working with that thicker Recollections card stock from Michaels, so um, I don't like to fold it without scoring it because I'll have a rough fold. And then after I fold it, I actually like to go over it with a bone folder to make sure that uh, my crease is really sharp. There we go, we can see it doesn't look like much now, but look when we put the little window over it, it looks so neat and tidy. So to add a little interest without adding a lot of bulk, we're going to use Baker's Twine. So I want you to take the backing off of the bottom two foam squares of, of the foam adhesive you have on the bottom, and then wrap the Baker's Twine around the front of the card. Now those little scallop edges make it really easy to position the Baker's Twine because it kind of catches it. And then just kind of make sure the twine is secured into the tape and that way it won't need to be tied or any additional gluing or anything. Now snip off the edge. I'm working from the spool again because you know how I hate to waste my beautiful baker's twine. Now just stick it down on your card. At this point, I only have the bottom two tabs um, with the backing paper off. So um, you might want to take all the backing paper off first just to make sure that, um, well, just to make it a little bit quicker. It won't hurt anything if you have to go back in like I did to take off those other tabs. And there we go, look at that. It's coming together really quickly. The next step is to um, add the little label on the front. Now I already die cut and stamped um, these little happy Easter sentiments, but I wanted a little more color on there. So I'm using a little spring green ink and another stippling brush, and I'm adding some ink to the edges of my little frame there. And I just used the regular steel die that I had that were nice and small, but you could use a punch or you could even just use a rectangle of cardstock. It's completely up to you. Or if you didn't emboss the front panel of your card, you could stamp a sentiment right on the front so 
completely um, different options for whatever you want to do, by all means, use what you have on hand. I mean, if you want to make this right now and you can't wait for your washi tape to get here, you could use scraps of paper strips and or um, scraps of ribbon, things like that. So, you know, be creative and use what you have. And there you can see the card is almost done, but one last finishing touch I like to add is I like to round the corners. And you can use whatever um, corner rounder you have. I like this one by We Are Memory Keepers because it's super strong and I can chomp um, both layers at once. And here's a look at the finished cards. I think they're just adorable. They're lightweight. They'd be easy to mail. And I think everyone would enjoy getting those this Easter. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Please check out all the supplies I used. The links will be in the video description. And uh, please check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com, where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.